Plaza is located on Alameda Avenue just off San Fernando in Burbank. It's just around the corner from Ikea and Tesla and right behind the Chained Rabbit and the Blue Room. It's a really nice pizzeria with a European vibe. There's a large kitchen area to the right as you walk in with a counter facing their beautiful wood-fired pizza oven and giving you a view of the pizzas being made. There were some tables to the left and some against the windows. You can watch the TV above the kitchen if you prefer. Let us all bask in television's warm, glowing, warming glow. <sighs> but the real show is happening in the kitchen. The pizzaiolos here really do a great job with their pizzas, in which they have many, many options. The trick is deciding on which one you want. I want a hamburger? No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog? I want a milkshake? You'll get nothing and like it! I ordered two medium pizzas. Utah, give me two. One meat lovers and one margarita. I had them both outside in their very nice covered patio section. The meat lovers was perfectly cooked and had a very even spread of toppings, pepperoni, bacon, Canadian bacon, and Italian sausage, which were all melted together with a coating of mozzarella cheese over a tangy tomato sauce. The crust was very thin and had some nice crispy wood-fired char to the edges and a great cook to the undercarriage. It was nice and foldable, but still had some crisp. It's not a New York style crust and it's too crispy for Neapolitan. Just a really good, thin, wood-fired crust. My only gripe is that for me, this particular combo of meats wasn't blending together all that well. The bacon, combined with Canadian bacon, was a bit of smoky flavor overkill, and the Italian sausage they used was like no Italian sausage I've had before, and unfortunately, it also had a smoky flavor to it, that when combined with the two bacons, gave you a super smoky overtone that was so powerful, It was all the pepperoni could do to offset the flavor and push through all of that smoke. I'm it all she's got this flavor combination may work for some of you out there, but not for me. How can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Peter, it's so good. And for my next pizza, I decided to go with a classic margarita, which happens to be their best seller. It had a light tomato sauce spread over that delicious, perfectly cooked, wood-fired crust, with giant slices of fresh tomato covered with creamy mozzarella cheese and fresh basil leaves to top it all off. It was as delicious as it looked and by far the best thing I've had here so far. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm going to give the Meat Lovers pizza three and a half out of five stars. While the pizza was well executed, beautifully cooked, and tasted pretty good, the combination of meats they chose just didn't work for me. The Margarita pizza, on the other hand, gets a solid four out of five stars. I really enjoyed that pizza and it's something you guys absolutely must try when you're here. If you have tried Pizza Paza, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. And if you know of a place I should try next, be sure to let me know that too. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.